And I'm going to write out the contrast here. The de determinant of 3a equals 3 to the n times the determinant of a, where n is the order of the matrix, right? Okay? Because, as I said, if you just multiply the first row by 3, you get 3 times every number when you expand it, right? Which is going to give you 3 times the result. Well, that's only multiplying one row by 3. If you multiply, if you do that, and then multiply the second row by 3, well, you could expand on that row, and it's going to be 3 times as big as it was. So every row you multiply by 3 multiplies the determinant by 3. So if you have n rows, you're going to multiply by 3 n times. That's going to be 3 to the n, right? Okay. But let's think of the determinant of a cubed. Well, you know, it seems to me that would be the determinant of a squared times a. Right? Which is then, because determinants multiply in this fashion, right? Determinant of one matrix times another is the product of the determinants. So the product, well, the determinant of this product is the product of these determinants. Okay? Well, what's that equal? A squared is A times A. Mm -hmm. so this is the determinant of A times the determinant of A times the determinant of A, which is the cube of the determinant of A. So it would just be 7 cubed? I'm sorry? It would, it would just be 7 cubed since the determinant of A was 7? I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't understand a bit of it. Oh, the determinant of a was seven, so would it just be seven? Oh yeah, yeah, but, yeah. So, so if the determinant of a is seven, in the case of the problem in in, in the chapter review test, if the determinant of a cumulative review is seven, and n equals four. Eighty-one times seven, six hundred and thirty-seven. Okay. Um, five hundred and sixty-seven. No, no. Eighty-one times seven. Yeah, five hundred sixty-seven. Okay. So, told you that up too early. Okay. And determinant of a. Q is determinant of a cube because of rule for multiply, mm -hmm. yep. determinant of a product, which is 7 cubed, which is 343. Okay? And you want to go back to the earliest principles you can when you do any of these. You want to understand why the rules apply. For example, the determinant of the transpose is the same as the determinant of the original because you're just switching rows and columns in whatever row you want to expand on here becomes a column that you could expand on and then you kind of think forward from that, okay? Uh, also, uh, why is the determinant of the inverse the reciprocal of the determinant? Well, we wrote that out before. A times A inverse equals the identity, right? Mm -hmm. So the determinant of A times the determinant of A inverse equals the determinant of the identity matrix, right? Mm -hmm. Well, what's the determinant of the identity? So the determinant of A times the determinant of A inverse equals 1. Determinant of A inverse is therefore 1 divided by the determinant of A. Okay? That's kind of slick. You know, once you understand that, you know, you get a little clever, and maybe you do something equally clever on something you're not familiar with when you first see it. <laughs>